maybe I should begin with Drew Barrymore. Every who tells me that Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, absolutely did not. The Grinch hated Christmases and the whole Christmas season. Please, don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. Sarah Jessica Parker. It could be, perhaps, that his designer shoes were too tight. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on just right. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. Sophia Vergara? But whatever the reason, I got his shoes. He stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the hoes. I who can hate the hoes? They are so cute. <laughs> Julie Andrews. You're a mean one, Mr. Green. You really are a he. You're as cowardly as a cactus. You're as charming as an evil Mr. Grinch. Gwen Stefani. You're better than Anna. Bing! Hey, Anna, Anna, yeah! With all the reflect, left hand. Oh. Barbara Walters. <laughs> He grows with his grinchy fingers nervously twirling. He said, I must find some way to keep this Christmas from coming. Why, why, for 53 years I've put up with it now. I must stop Christmas from coming, but the question is, how? <laughs> Miley Cyrus. Okay, then like the Grinch got this awful idea. Right? The, the Grinch, now the wonderful, wonderful, awful idea. He said, I know just what to do, and he laughed in his throat. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna make a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. Wanda Sykes. He chuckled and clubbed. Yeah. What a great Grinchy trick. You know, with this coat and this hat, I'ma look like Saint Nick. Yeah. Liza Minnelli. You're a monster, <laughs> Mr. Grinch. Yes. Your heart's an empty ha ha ha. Well, your brain is full of spiders and you've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. All their windows were dark, and uh, no one knew that he was there. When he came to the first teeny tiny house in the square, he got stuck in the chimney for just like a minute or two, and then he stuck his awful head out of the first fireplace flue. Kira Knightley. Little Hugh Stockings. <laughs>
He will the chimney, the freaking old liar. Right? <laughs> and the last thing he took was the log for the fire. And then he did the same thing to all the other who houses, leaving crumbs much, much too small for even the little who mouses. Oh my god, like what an idiot. I cannot believe he did that. I feel like I need some Nora Jones to calm me down. You're a fair one, Mr. Gray. You've got turn, I see you smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a sissy crocodile, Mr. Grange. Adina Menzel. <laughs> Quarter of dawn. <laughs> Are the hoosh still in bed? Are the hoosh still a schnoz? <laughs> While he packed up his sleigh, packed it with presents and ribbons and wrappings, their snoof and their fozzers, <laughs> their trinkets, their trappings. <laughs> Zoe de Chanel. Who pooed of the who's, he was Grinchishly humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. But he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, and then it started to grow. He heard, Christmas Day is in our grasp, so long as we have hands to clasp. Chenoweth. But that sound wasn't sad. <laughs> Why, that sound was glad. And every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, like me, were singing <laughs> without any presence at all. I believe we should end with Barbara Streisand and Celine Dion. <laughs> Your soul is full of gunk. <laughs> <laughs>